This week, Red Grant stopped by Comedy Hype. He opened up about his longtime friend, Cat Williams. Things got a little emotional. Take a look at what he had to say. Man, he was so happy, man, to get that Emmy. And I think I met him at a party, at the Netflix party that night. And he was just, man, you can just tell, like, it bring, it bring tears to my eyes just thinking about it, how proud he was about, like, getting that Emmy, yo. Cause like as a as a as a as a not, not just as a man, but just like as a um, as a as a black man, just holding on to something that he worked hard for. I mean, he worked hard for it to be where he at. And like people don't really give him the credit that he deserves. This is unfortunate, man, because you know, nowadays, like when you think of Cat Williams, you don't think of the successes of his career. You know, you think of the antics, you think of, you know, the arrest, you think of the Wanda Smith roast, which led to her husband pulling a allegedly pulling a gun on Cat Williams. You think of the fight with the teenager. You think of the beef between Cat Williams and the uh, Jamie Foxx and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish, Steve Harvey. I don't think so. I don't think that's what his fans think of when when we bring up Cat Williams. Like we think of the nine specials he's had. You know what I mean? Like we think of the twenty two movies he's been in. Um, we think of him finally winning an Emmy, which is well deserved. He should have been won a damn Emmy. Um, yeah, but that week, the week that he won the Emmy, though, was the same week what the uh, shenanigans happened at the Atlanta Comedy Theater with Wanda Smith's husband. The media wasn't talking about the fact that Cat Williams wins his first Emmy. They were talking about that he apologized for Tiffany Haddish about the shit that he said about it. I think, I think it works for him. I think it works for him because nobody in the game has a squeaky clean reputation. I mean, you look at Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart has been arrested. That's what we like about Cat Williams. Mm -hmm. You look at somebody like Bobby Brown, one of the greatest entertainers the, of, in R&B. What got him there was him being the bad boy of R&B. Mm -hmm. Chris Brown, same thing. Cat but, Williams. But take, but Bill Cosby, right? Now when you think of Bill Cosby, you think of the allegations. You think of the fact that he's locked up. You don't think of his, the success of his career. It's going to unfortunately overshadow that he's a father. Look at Red Grace's interview. You know, obviously got emotional. Obviously there's a lot of love there. You get what I mean? Obviously he's a good guy. So Lunell has speaks so highly of Cat Williams. You know, so that's my point. His peers, his comedy peers speak. But we can't tell from his antics. But his comedy peers all speak very highly of him. When they speak about Cat Williams, they speak about how nice of a guy he is, how supportive he is, how he looks out for up and coming comedians. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart has had his times too. He was arrested for DUI. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart was caught cheating on, on tape. Cheating on his face. Allegedly. Yeah, but it's not such a long list. Think of Cat Williams, the arrest, the fight with the teenager. The beef with uh, oh, Kevin Hart, the beef with Tiffany Haddish, the beef with Steve Harvey, Jamie Foxx. You know, I'm looking at Cat Williams date one of the love and hip hop girls. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're not seeing what everyone is saying and people are gonna go by what they see, not what they hear. We're gonna go by the mug shots. We're gonna go by the footage of him wrestling on the ground with so the So we're not boy. gonna go by the specials? We're not gonna go by the movies? People love a good shit show. People like negative shit. You know, they're not gonna say, well, still, no, people like a train wreck. People wanna see negative stuff. That's what unfortunately fuels the media. That's what fuels people. They like the bad, you know. The lie is spread way faster than the truth. Yeah, when it comes to Cat Williams, I hope maybe another special or something can come out to where it can, you know, it can put his reputation back on the right track. Because if not, then that's what we are gonna remember him by. Well, y'all let us know in the comments below. Cat Williams' antics, has that overshadowed his reputation? Let us know in the comments below what you think.